Jay. All right, it's U.S. Open time almost. Here's Randy with a look at sports. All right, in two days, the 115th U.S. Open tees off. On the West Coast, the best players in the world will be playing a Link style course called Chambers Bay. That's just outside of Tacoma, Washington, at a place called University Place, Washington, right on the Puget Sound. It's the first time the Open has ever been held in the Pacific Northwest. Masters champion Jordan Spieth played nine holes and hit the range today. No one has ever won the Masters and U.S. Open in the same year since Tiger Woods did it in 2002. Tiger also getting some practice in today. Another great story, 15-year-old amateur qualifier Cole Hammer. He's playing in his first Open. He's the third youngest player to qualify for the tournament, and he was warming up next to the top player in the world on the range yesterday, Rory McIlroy. Uh, every one of his three shots, I would look over and he hits it so far. <laughs> it's crazy. Uh, but, yeah, it was, it was really cool being able to hit balls uh, next to the number one player in the world. Um, never thought that I'd be able to do that. Uh, but you know, it, it was it was really cool. I really enjoy the layout. I think it's going to be um, a fun challenge. Um, it's it's a beautiful challenge as well. I think one of the more dramatic things I've noticed is how different it plays from the morning to afternoon. Um, you just feel it as as the, as the day wears on. How much this golf course can dry out, and, and it certainly will. Um, uh, the, the morning times versus afternoon times is just very different. All right, Phil Mickelson will be teeing off in the morning with Bubba Watson, 7.33 a.m. Dustin Johnson, Adam Scott also playing together. Rory McIlroy with defending champion Martin Keimer in the morning. Then in the afternoon, it's Jordan Spieth, Jason Day, Justin Rose, and Tiger Woods who shot an 85 in his last tournament. We'll begin at 2.28 in the afternoon with Ricky Fowler. Local golf talk show host Dennis Silver says don't expect a magical turnaround from Tiger. There is a website, Randy, that you can bet on whether Tiger is going to shoot another 85 or worse for the whole rest of the year. And I think if you had, I don't know, I think it could happen on this golf course. He starts going sideways like he did before. Gosh, only knows what he can do. All right, we'll get the golf guru's picks for you tomorrow. One more thing to tell you about another cheating scandal in the world of sports. And yes, it's the FBI looking into some officials of the St. Louis Cardinals for alleged hacking of another major league team. MLB released a statement today. Cardinals under scrutiny for reportedly hacking into the database of the Houston Astros. They are believed to have broken into the Astros network to steal information about player personnel. We don't know any more than anybody else and uh, just kind of waiting to hear. You know, we heard from the front office that this is something that's going to be addressed soon and, and then uh, we'll be up to speed. But you know, right now we just go about our business. All right, another job for hackers, and they can actually seek employment. I this guess. is like Mark McGuire heartbreak, <laughs> it's, right? It's unbelievable. All right. What next? Thank you.